what's happening behind the scenes. I want you to go from just a user that's looking at this screen to try to flip this phone a little bit and imagine if you were behind what the user usually see. What's going on behind the scenes? Well, welcome back. Last time I talked to you about what the different request types actually map to when we're sending these requests out to the back end. I talked to you about how create request is really what we call a post request. A read request is what we call a get request. An update request is what we call a put request. And a delete request is what we call a delete request. Now, the game is changing a little bit. So we're gonna move from the front end to go to the back end a little bit. In our restaurant where the waiter grabs you order your order is the request but the waiter is taking this request to the back end right so the back end starts when the waiter gets in the back kitchen so the waiter goes in the back kitchen imagine they stand there and they're like hey i got a i got a veggie taco coming up imagine there are like five chefs that are standing there the vegan chef is gonna raise their hand and be like I'm ready for you. So now the waiter has to go to that vegan chef. So the vegan chef is the only person that can receive this request. Had the waiter brought the fish taco request, then the pescatarian or whatever the seafood chef would be the one to receive this request. Had they brought the meat taco request, then the chef that's only specialized to make these tacos would receive this request. So there's almost like a lineup of different receivers request receivers if you want to think about them like that there are different request receivers that are ready to receive only specific requests that are addressed to them they're actually like sitting there listening to specific requests that are coming to them depending on what they are this line of request receivers is what we call endpoints it's almost like an endpoint of this request it's like the starting point is where the request gets triggered from and the end point of this request is literally where this request ends and we have different endpoints for different specific requests so you can imagine we would have a specific endpoint to create specific records. We would have a specific endpoint that will receive a specific request to grab data from the database. We would have a specific endpoint to receive a request that's coming in to update a specific record in our database. We would have a specific endpoint to receive a specific delete request to go and delete a specific record. So it's like for every request that we make, there is a specific endpoint that's only created to receive this request and only that endpoint will then grab that request ultimately do something to fulfill that request and return a response to me this is one place that had always been a struggle for me to comprehend because we don't see it but then the cool thing about being a web developer is now when you understand this, you start crafting, engineering, architecting these experiences and this logic. And it's, it's nothing short of almost like magic. So now I want you to think about your experiences that you have with different web applications, whatever you use in your daily basis. I want you to ask yourself like, when I go to my Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or LinkedIn, first time I wake up and I turn that thing on and I just open it up, what kind of request am I making? What just happened? We'll talk about this more once we're wrapping up, but I want you to start thinking about web applications in that way. What's happening behind the scenes? So I want you to go from just a user that's looking at this screen to try to flip this phone a little bit and imagine if you were behind what the user usually see. What's going on behind the scenes? And then when we come back after this, I will then peel the onion a little bit more and talk about what happens behind the endpoint. Until next time, peace.